selling organs is illegal in India. But there's a thriving black market that takes advantage of a loophole in the law. These so-called donor transactions are run by a shady network of back alley brokers, corrupt officials, doctors, and organized crime. A network that takes advantage of people like Malika. In debt, she needed money. She gets in touch with a man who is said to be able to help people. His name was Raji. He lived near my house. I asked his wife why all these people kept coming to their house. And she said they give kidneys. And if they give kidneys, they get money, three and a half thousand dollars. Lured in by the money, she agrees to the deal. Raji and another man begin taking Malika on trips, shopping her around. They took me to Mailapur, and they did blood and urine tests. From one hospital to the next, Raji looks for the best price. We were put in the hotel room, and they instructed us to stay there and not to talk to anyone. They gave us one day to rest. I was told I would get the money when the operation was complete. 24 hours later, her kidney is extracted. She's told it's been transplanted into the son of a wealthy foreigner. A foreigner who likely paid some $40,000 for the kidney. After the surgery, Malika gets only $700 less than a fifth of what she said she was promised. Tens of thousands of dollars eaten up by brokers and middlemen. He said, I don't have the rest of your money. And even if I do not give you the money, what could you possibly do to me? Malika persists, and the brokers begin sending her death threats. And then they vanish. <laughs> Through a tip, we've tracked one of the men named Raji to the fishing docks in the harbor, where he and his wife run a small shop. So the kidney broker is now refusing to talk to us and the wife is vehement. So we're going to see if they'll come meet us in private. Much to our surprise, two days later, Raji agrees to an interview. At first, he denies he's a broker or that he even knows Malika. And then his story changes. She came to my house two or three times and asked me to arrange the deal. He admits to brokering the deal, and I started to ask questions about how the network operates. I don't know about that. The doctors operate and send their bill. Where does all the money go? Nobody's getting cheated. Everyone gets exactly what they're promised. About Malika's share of the deal. She got what she deserved. I told her it was 40,000 rupees and she accepted. Now she waits three years to complain? The interview starts to fall apart and he becomes evasive. With Raji, the underground trail dead ends. <laughs>